Greetings, Star Lion Nation of the New Earth Activation, standing tall in your pride and courage, with your lion heart fully open, shining your light and love brightly into the night. Standing tall, fully present, with the eyes of the spirit wide open, looking into the future with great vision, insight, and brilliance knowing that love has won and always wins there is no doubt or fear in pure love we had a powerful night and day with this new moon the black new moon in leo some very intense energies coming in being reported all over the earth all over this realm more intense weather coming in powerful energies and tomorrow the cme is supposed to flow into the earth's electromagnetic field causing more power to come in if we didn't have enough fire as it was already with the lion's gate and this new moon in leo i know most of the night i was going into meditation and ceremony and many different things at one point it felt the intensity like my blood was boiling and the root chakra was totally on fire as we're being fully lit up preparing us for this great shift, this quantum leap of consciousness. But we'll leave that to the end of today's transmission. We're also seeing more massive flooding, especially in the east, India, China. Many fires all over this realm. In the west and the U.S., with many more crazy weather patterns. Tense winds. We had uh, 17 today on the Schumann, connected with the 8, the 8th month and the 8-8 eight, eight Lion's Gate and the time loop but 17 of the queue is freeing consciousness from all time loops or repeat patterns that's part of the false of the nefarious creator source is infinitely expanding and rising there is no plateau to ascension the arconic programming is to trick the mind into thinking that the universe is constantly rebooting itself and based on perception, that could be a, perceived as the quanta from emptiness form back into emptiness form. But that's a fluctuation that creates the hologram, that creates the simulated reality. And it's not a bad thing. It's a field of energy, like an artist's canvas with infinite potential and possibility. And with each moment as it shifts, expands in a state of flux and change, we're constantly learning consciousness is constantly experimenting, learning, and expanding. That's why the great mind of Buckminster Fuller would say, live life like an experiment. Because we realize that there is no failure. There's only lessons and learning and expansion. And it's all out of love. The source is the love that's within your heart now that you feel for the children, for the elders, for humanity, for the animals, for Pachamama, for Gaia. It's overflowing in the heart that at times it makes you weep, but let go with the tears and let them flow into Pachamama. This is like sweet nectar to her because it's the love that's in your heart. And it doesn't matter what is behind the tears. Sometimes it is fear or sadness, anger, depression. It does not matter. What matters is releasing and letting that energy go and letting it flow, not holding it in and letting it build until we implode which is part of the programming, what became normal. But in this great time of shift, you are releasing all that nonsense and stupidity and say, let it go and let it flow. We had many powerful earthquakes, the whole ring of fire all day totally lit up. If you look at the patterns on earthquaketrack.com, you could see the whole ring itself from top to bottom was fully activated today then that's the lemurian energies lemuria so we saw many activations today in the crown so you might have experienced like pressure in the skull crown openings light flashes we're seeing in between timelines too you might see catch things out of the corner of your eye as the eyes of the spirit and the third eye open so up in Alaska, from Alaska to Russia, that whole crown of the Ring of Fire was totally activated today. 
We had multiple earthquakes going through there, starting in Alaska 3.6, which was at 307 UTC in Fox Islands. Then we had a 3.5 at Sand Point. It's about the center point, the Bai Hui. Then we had a 3.3, Gulf of Alaska, 3.4 at Sand Point again, 5.1 at Sand Point, which was the most powerful earthquake. So this could manifest in our physical vessel, since we're one with Gaia and feeling what she's transitioning through as we're rising with her through this great ascension and activations. We had... Multiple earthquakes in California, Willits, 4.2, 3.3, 3.9, Tonopah, Nevada, 3.8, Indonesia again today, 4.6, 4.9, and then the sacred portal of the goddess in Crete, Greece, 4.7, 17 hours ago, then up in the crown again by Russia, Ostrova, 4.4, 44 code coming in with the eight energy again. And then in the portal in Iran, by the Persian Gulf, 4.2, 22.13 UTC. And then in the sacred portal off the coast of Honshu, Japan, 4.0, 22.37, at 137 longitude, 33 latitude. So we have the 37 into the 73, heaven on earth, a whole. And now many people are experiencing these strange timeline shifts or being in between times or in between dimensions. So we're seeing this like 4D into lower 3D and then 5D shining through with many of these miracles that people are experiencing every day. Although we're not out of the woods yet, obviously. Full shift has not been here, what people call the event. And no one knows the exact day or time. Obviously, we all have our own perceptions, but those of us that have been in this awakening for many, many years know that we're very close. Any day now, the eagle will fly with the condor, and my vision sees us before the next coming equinox. So we'll start today's first transmission from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel. Every soul is unique and thus has its very own soul name and soul attributes which reflect the divine source. Indeed, you can say that every soul embodies the divine and reflects divine attributes back to the divine by expressing and creating and experiencing these attributes. As such, then the divine source experiences and expresses itself through the soul, and the soul is one with the divine expresses this through the soul self, the I Am, During this time of immense changes, it is good to remember that your own soul will experience every moment differently from anyone else. There may be similarities, yet you create your own experiences via every thought you think, every feeling you have, and every action you take. Once you truly understand just how powerful you are as soul level and become as one with the divine source, you literally now can live in a much higher dimensional state if you so choose and start to co-create within that much higher dimensional energy field. Now understand that this will bring about certain changes within you, and you will simply start thinking, feeling, acting differently, because your whole energy field has changed and you are tuning into a much higher frequency band. If you then suddenly start tuning into the 3D, and all the fear-based energy and all the false information and whatever else there is, your own energy fields will get jarred, You will literally feel yourself out of alignment and then wonder what is going wrong. I was made aware of this yesterday and then was told that we as lightworkers will get affected by the mass fear and mass hysteria in some way. We may not even realize this, but when you even read something or hear something or interact with someone from that lower vibration, you need to be aware that your own energy fields now are disturbed in some way and you immediately need to clear your own energy fields. This can happen when shopping as you are not aware of what is going on around you, but your energetic sensors will detect this and alarm bells will start ringing. Or you may just see a video clip or hear something. Note that some of these are geared and deliberately created to jam your own energy fields. Thus be diligent in what you read, what you watch, and what you are listening to. You may not consciously be aware of this. 
It could well be that you suddenly have old things coming up or old memory banks or old buttons being pressed. Thank these for coming up now and immediately forgive, release, and let go. Remember, we now have the opportunity to release everything, and indeed everything, which is still there in your old Adam and old Eve within us. We need to be totally emptied in order to be totally filled. Thank the old for all it taught you. Be careful what you think or wish for, for it will manifest into form almost immediately now. Remember what you fear, you attract. Let go of fear in all forms and expressions and ask the even subconscious fear surface so that they can be released as well. Remember that in truth there is only love. Let that heart center open even more and understand that all is huge learning curves and of course you will sometimes fall back, but the trick is always to get up and get going again, growing wiser and more filled with divine love, light, and power. The good news is that when you are fully anchored in the divine and you truly are willing to walk the highest paths, you will start getting more and more adept at handling this and you will be able to immediately adjust your frequency levels and your energy fields again. More than this, you will just get on with the higher frequency levels no matter what is seemingly going on around you and whatever craziness the old world conjures up, you will start becoming immune and will just walk your walk in the higher dimensional state with the deepest knowing that you are growing even more and ever higher into the highest truth of your own soul and into the highest mastery as this is a totally new life, a new way of life and a much higher dimension and frequency as your new body is now forming and shaping. And so is your higher soul self now creating a much higher you. What an experience. Imagine that. We all have waited for thousands, indeed millions of years for this to happen. And here it is at last. Wow. Embrace life more abundantly. And it will come unity and oneness and new vibrant life. Indeed, this is the most powerful opening for all souls to grow with leaps and bounds and truly step into their highest soul self their true genius, and their highest potential, indeed, their greatness. From JudithKusul.com Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Sandra Walter. Divine DNA decrees. Divine DNA activate and rebundle into sacred geometric proportions. Receive and anchor pure divine light and ascension codes into every cell. Almighty I am presence, restore the patterns of perfection in my body with ease and grace. From ascensionpath.com and today from Divine Sister of the Light Lisa Marie Wright, huge shifts, much clearing of the past and embodiment of the new, connecting with incoming energies, huge breakthroughs, activations, deeper clarity and much expansion. Be still and know, be at peace with it all. Have a magically transformational day. Much love. Today from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Robbie Watson. And this is his image in today's video, which is a new earth template, light activation. The seeds have sprouted, and now the material world begins to shift. The vines weave around that which has always been. It upgrades the structure, the weight, the materials of what has always been. Consciousness itself seems to be evolving. The unthinkable is occurring. This is happening at all times. The greatest show in the universe. The evolution of Earth and its inhabitants will receive a celebration that has never been. The greatest moments of your existence are within your grasp. They periodically show themselves, preparing you for the greatness. You are deconditioning. It's all preparation for the final stretch, for the new steps onto 5D New Earth. Stay grounded and lead yourself deeper in, into the unconscious parts of yourself, waiting to sing, waiting to speak, waiting to be silent. Follow this. It is the way. So honored, my friends, this code is being assisted by many dragon energies. It is the blueprint of a timeless age, constructing itself into the crystalline structure of all things now. Open, receive, and pass on. Much love, vibrational medicine, Robbie Watson. And today from Sparks of Divine Light Healing, today and tomorrow we continue our journey through the Milky Way portal. 300 billion stars are shining down on you right now. We are still going to be feeling a lot of lunar energies from yesterday's new moon in Leo. 
you may be feeling the need to rest more with all these energies. It's a lot to integrate fast as our bodies are adjusting to the higher frequencies. Some of you may even have somewhat of a lion's gate hangover of sorts. We also have an area of the Earth's magnetic field that is weakening. There is a dent occurring now as the South Atlantic anomaly. Our magnetic field is meant to shield and protect the planet from solar winds and cosmic radiation. The Earth's magnetic field has been losing its strength, which is allowing more energies into the planet. These are galactic energies that are expanding our consciousness and activating our DNA. We are being flooded with light codes like never before. We are beginning to feel and see the effects more and more of these energies and this awakening. You should be feeling more and more tuned in as we are being upgraded. Your angels have been trying to get your attention. You are being sent many messages during this time in all different forms. These messages may be coming through people, things you are hearing or seeing, an increase in synchronicity, repeating number codes such as 1111, through music, your dreams, feeling deja vu, or sensing light or different energies. Know that your angels are always there and the universe is always guiding you. If you have been dealing with any negativity, it's time to shift to a more positive shift. Know you're being supported. This weekend we are making the shift into Virgo season. It's time to get to work. How can you get more organized? This week we are being encouraged to really listen to our intuition. We are being pushed out of our comfort zone at the moment. It's important to remember we are only being pushed to create something better. This is a good time to do some soul searching or to re reassess where your path is taking you. This is a powerful time for any twin flames and we will see many reuniting as the energies continue to rise. If you get outside in the middle of the night this week, you can see our entire galaxy. Sparks of Divine Light Healing .com. And today from Divine Bro Star of the Light James McConnell. Latest energy update by Saint Germain. I am your Saint Germain, as if you did not know, with the violet flame. And I am here certainly at this time to help to continue to assist you in moving through these trying times that you are in now. And my goodness, you are in very trying times. Times that are bringing you to the verge of tears often. Times that are bringing you to the verge of needing to run away. Times that are bringing you to the point where you just want to say enough. I don't want this anymore. I can't take this anymore. I can't take these lower vibrations anymore. I need to get out. I need to be in the higher vibrations. And then certainly when that happens, be in those higher vibrations. Do whatever you need to do to find something that uplifts you. Whatever it might be, whether it is walking outside and feeling the air, the beautiful, crisp, clean air, or feel the love from your neighbor and your neighbor's neighbor and everyone coming together, feel that. There will be times when you will feel these triggers of emotions. There will be times when you will drop back down. You have been doing this for years now. Actually, you have been doing that for lifetimes, up and down, up and down, because all along, each and every one of you, have remembered deep within you the times when you were always in those higher vibrations. You were always in the higher dimensions. You were always connected to the source within you, and you always knew that connection. But then you chose to be here. You volunteered to come here and assist. You volunteered to come here and be the way showers, the ones that would go before, that would show the way to those that are coming up behind and be the example, be the ideal, be the change that you want to see in the world. And then those times come again where you slip and you forget who you are. You forget that the God source is within each and every one of you and that you are that God source and you are even the universe itself. You have never not been, but you forget again and again and again. But each time that you forget, there is a part of you that jumps in again and says, No, remember, remember who I am. I am God's source. I am the universe. I am the oneness. I am the one. And when you know that, when you can say fully within you, I am the one. And then you are like Neo in the Matrix movie where you can stop the bullets, you can stop the attacks from outside. You have the shield around you. And each and every one of you have that shield. You just forget it is there. That shield is your Merkaba. The shield is your white light, your tube of white light. However you want to utilize the abilities that you have, the tools that you have been given, you are all being given these tools and all of you can work with these in whatever way it requires 
But here you are in these times, these times of the storm, and the storm continues to rage around you, and you continue to attempt to find the calm within that storm, because you are following the guidance we have given you as much as you can. You are looking for that calm. You are looking to be in the eye of the storm. But it is difficult for you now to be in the eye of the storm because the storm is passing now. It is now as if it has come. You have been in the eye and it is moving through past you now. And you are no longer in the eye of the storm. But you have to pretend that you were in that eye. Even though it is going to continue to rage around you. Even though it may appear to get more and more difficult because of this awakening. Because of this great awakening that is happening and it requires the darkness to begin to become aware of themselves within the light and to recede from that light, and that is what they are doing now. They are coming out of the shadows, attempting to reach out and to extinguish the light wherever they can, but they cannot do it, and they know they cannot do it, but they still try and try and try, and you know about trying. You know that you cannot try. You must do it or not do it, and they continue, though, to try, and they will not be able to do it, it is not possible for them anymore because the light is overwhelming here, not only on this planet but in the solar system and in the galaxy. It is pouring in now. The light is pouring in through the galactic central sun, through your sun into the solar system down to the earth. It is pouring in in waves and waves and waves and you have been feeling that energy. Many of you have been feeling that energy. Just this day or this weekend you have been feeling that energy. And it has pulled you down at various points and various times. But you raised yourselves back up. It is not how many times you get knocked down. It is how many times you pull yourself back up and go on and on and on. And even though there are those times when you say, I am done. I am not doing this anymore. Why did I volunteer for this? And those times when you say that, there are those whispers that come back into you and say, you did volunteer for this. You are here for a great purpose. You are here to bring the earth out of the darkness to help rise higher and higher into the higher dimensions. And when you hear those whispers and you begin to remember and realize that once again, then, my friend, you are back in the ascension process fully. You are moving fully through the transition. And everything, and I do mean everything, is opening up to you. And you are coming close to the end, to the end of these dark ages, the golden age, the new golden age of Gaia that you are helping to create that you are purposefully being here to bring this forward. This is what you are here to do, and you are doing it, and we are here applauding you. Even though you may not be applauding yourselves, we are standing here, and we have our hands together and clapping and raising our hands up high and saying, Alleluia, Alleluia, the light has returned to this planet. And those of the light workers and light warriors are helping to bring this light forward. And the boots on the ground are assisting right along with the Earth Alliance, right along with Q, right along with the President of this country, right along with the leaders of other countries who are also coming out of it. Many of them are coming out of the shadows as well. The light is pouring into many of the countries throughout the world, and they must begin to set the example so the light is pouring into them as well. This is how peace is coming to the planet. The leaders are stepping forward, not all of them yet, but many of them are stepping forward and are about to come forward with various announcements, as I have spoken of before, and other sources now have also come forward and spoken. They are ready to come forward with these announcements, and it is only a matter of vibration and frequency, consciousness raising a little bit more here and a little for the fear to diminish here and there and then everywhere, and those masks that you are fighting against that are tending to lead to the control of the people, those masks are going to come off. Because those who are attempting to hold control realize they cannot control the people. They cannot do it anymore. Because the people are rising up as one and saying, no more, we will not take this anymore. We will not allow you to take away our freedom anymore. And a small percentage of people that are attempting to do that, and those overlords over them are realizing that the jig is up, the game is over. I apologize for being quite so vehement in this, for being on what you might call a soapbox, but it is time. It is time for you to sign, re-sign that declaration of independence that says, we the people, but not only of this country, but the entire planet, the entire solar system, the entire galaxy must be free once again. It is hoped that many who hear these words and will listen and will say once again, no more, enough is enough. 
If Prime Creator can say enough is enough, cannot all of we say enough is enough? I am St. Germain, channeled by James McConnell from ancientawakenings.org and from Divine Sister of the Light, Lori Ladd. We are going through a massive transformation and shift right now in this now moment. As you know that we are moving into higher states of consciousness and we are currently shifting out a lower frequency within our bodies and moving into a higher frequency within our bodies. Incoming high frequency light from the sun, which is a consciousness that is continuously streaming into our bodies high frequency light. This light is alchemizing denser consciousness within us, allowing us to hold higher light, higher frequency. As our bodies are shifting in this moment of now, we are accessing higher states of consciousness. We are starting to be more love, more peace, more abundance, more neutral, more allowing, more accepting, more in the now moment, and more unified. And these are all higher states of consciousness. Stay patient, stay grounded, and stay centered on those ongoing truths that no one can take away from you. From LoriLad.com Today from Nyingma Masters, Tibetan Buddhism When you look at the mind, there is nothing to be seen. And in this not seeing, you see the essence of the mind. Machig Labran from the Zolkin Times, Kin 143, Blue Cosmic Night. Cosmic is the name for the number 13, and its key words are endure, transcend, and presence. The last day of the Blue Monkey Wave spell is special because it is potentially sums up the journey that began on day one. The agenda was magic, and after all we went through, the final destination we find ourselves at is the Cosmic Night. Today we endure to transcend. All we have learnt in this process makes us all cosmic dreamers. Today is blue night, and it represents dreams, abundance, and intuition. The blue monkey led us here, a day full of dreaming, aspirations, and imagination. Our dreams are what define us as humans. The monkey in the tree dreamed of walking on two legs, and it was so. What dreams can you dream up to transform your life? Attract abundance in your world today. Today... From Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio, Blue Cosmic Night, Kin 143, 19, August 2020, Accomplishing Bliss, 198-2020, equal 198-22, equal 1084, equal 103, equal 13, equal 4, 19, Prince of Heaven, Victory, Fulfillment, Honors, 10, Manifestation, Authority, Power, one new beginnings, leader, original, eight abundance, eternity, infinity, source flow, four form, structure, foundation, earth, kin 143 equal eight, abundance, infinity, flow, cosmic abundance, day 13 in the blue monkey wave spell of magic, joy, bliss, play, merriment, and a return to innocence. Today we conclude our magical carpet ride with Chuen, the mischievous blue monkey, and so today we reach the level of highest magic, transcending the humdrum old paradigm and launching into our greatest dreaming, having returned home to our pure divine selves. Today we celebrate the active stillness and the pure magic of the enchanted monkey forest. We commence this wave spell in search of our pure divine innocence and original essence and arrived here, realizing that the greatest magic lies within us. Connecting to our pure presence unleashes the power of the cosmos and all of creation. Tone of creation, cosmic, is the last and final tone of creation, the highest octave. Tone 13 operates in the spiritual realm. 13 is the mystical number of the cosmic order, the goddess and the synchronic natural time. Cosmic action transcends, power endures, essence presence. Today you have incredible spiritual power at your disposal to transcend all those old patterns where the world and all its trappings dissolve into the cosmic mists. We can transform them by our pure presence, translating into pure bliss. We have arrived. Add some. I am here. This is the stage of having transcended the physical, emotional, and mental realms and arriving at cosmic consciousness. So today we can be still and connect to the essence of our greatest magic, the frequency of pure internal presence. As we join with our fellow kin, we can become a conscious dreamer. We can assist in literally creating a new reality for yourself as well as contributing 
to the larger dream that is emerging. By focusing on this creation, your thoughts and intentions are projected across the crystal grid network that encompasses universes. This energetic field seeds, supports, and empowers the creation of an unfolding reality. At a certain point, when a critical threshold of energy has been focused on a clear intent such as world peace, unity, food for all people, the underlying constructs of reality shift and a new reality begins filtering into human experience. And so it is now time for our collective dreams to manifest the utopia that we are all dreaming of, the outer expression of our pure spiritual presence, the joy and bliss of creation made fully manifest in the world we live in. Disconnect from the matrix and keep your eyes on the prize. Make no mistake, great change is seeded by conscious dreamers who understand and know that they are co-creating the larger dream. What dreams will you energize today? Hold the presence of the collective dream of our new 5D Ascended Gaia in your manifestations today. Today's cosmic dreaming codes perfectly leads into the next 13-day wave spell of ripening abundance. So get ready to reap your rewards, star blossoms. Today we are awakening from the old dream with a newfound awareness that we have the ability to shape and sculpt our new collective experiences as a human family. As we claim our true power as cosmic beings, we can finally experience the true meaning of abundance for all beings. This is the default setting of the universe. Today we know that we can accomplish great things, realizing our greatest dreams through pure magic presence. Put your hands together in gratitude for all the great rewards you are about to receive. What do you choose to transcend in order to make your life on this planet more blissful and heavenly? You are the rainbow bridge and you have the power to do this for yourself personally and also collectively as a valuable member of our planetary tribe of rainbow warriors. Heaven on earth is our collective birthright. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is on heaven, and on heaven as it is on earth, as above so below. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Today's question is how can I transcend the humdrum and use my highest magic to accomplish my greatest dreams, opening to cosmic abundance? And so we bid adieu to Chuen, the spontaneous magical blue monkey who enabled us to see in order to transcend all that is not of bliss in this world, reclaiming our lost innocence and aligning with our inner divine child, remembering that joy and play are our greatest tools to create a wonderful life. Now that we have rediscovered our greatest magic, we are ready to set forth on our new journey. Tomorrow we commence a brand new wave spell packed with even greater potential with Khan. The yellow seed is our learned guide and so our journey of ripening through the dream spell continues. Divine blessings for your transcendence to your highest form of cosmic magical abundance. In La Kek a la Kin, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 143, Blue Cosmic Knight. The mantra, the code for today is, I endure in order to dream. Transcending intuition, I seal the input of abundance. With the cosmic tone of presence, I am guided by the power of accomplishment. And through this great time of transcendence and transmutation, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your visions, your dreams, and your activations, and what you see for the new earth. All these things help the collective and our community of love workers, light workers, warriors of light. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on our future uploads. And as always, we have a link in the description below for the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. I'd like to also thank everyone for your support and your pledges on Patreon. I would like to thank Divine Sister of the Light and welcome to our team on Patreon, Divine Sister Rhea. Appreciate you and your support. And appreciate everyone with your continued support. We're going to have a lot of good things coming through here in the near future, especially when I reunite with my most powerful soul star family of powerful healers and dreamers and sages. If you would like to support 
my work and mission, you can make a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. Namaste. So I plan on taking you all on this journey the best way I possibly can, which I'll give you all updates here in the near future. I'd also like to thank Divine Sister of the Light Nancy for your donation and also Divine Sister of the Light Paulina. Thank you, Angels of the Light. Appreciate you all and love you all. Amen. The proceeds will go towards the great mission that I am on and the great journey that I am manifesting to start very soon to fulfill the prophecy of the ego fly with the condor. And through this connection with my soul star family and the divine goddess, we see a sanctuary and healing retreat center by Mount Adams. And we're seeing possibly the Hood River being close to this center. And yes, Ecuador's still in the cards, but everything in the last 30 days has shifted and new activations have come in. So the first one we're seeing in Washington State by Mount Adams, and then it'll be a blueprint for sanctuaries. And we do see a shrine for the eagle and the condor. And yes, the condor is manifest through a portal and embodied in Venusian form. This isn't a fantasy I made up. This is <laughs> tangible. I just have to be careful. I have to protect the condor and her family and the crystal children, and my soul star family. So until it's fully activated and the prophecy manifest, however that looks, I'm having many visions and this is something that's been encoded into me and, and embodied. And every day there's new transformations, new activations and downloads coming for this mission. And everything's in a state of flux. So I'm just taking it one day at a time. And each day, each night, there's new challenges, new obstacles. Obviously, there's many entities and beings and nefarious things that do not want me to fulfill my mission. And our mission, this is our mission for the new earth. It was just encoded to me from the great spirit to do my part in it and to accelerate this thing. So through the night last night is... I embody the white gold eagle and I'm transforming my physical vessel, my mental and non-physical etheric body. So last night, as these powerful activations and transformations were coming in all night, I barely got any sleep all night last night. I had to go into ceremony and meditations and healing practices because it was coming through in wave after wave with this black new moon and Leo and the fire. And there were points, like I was saying earlier, like my blood was boiling. This isn't my first rodeo, so don't worry about me. I've been training for over 40 years for this great mission and everything that's coming through. So just keep anchoring your light, your love into the grid, transmitting, connecting with all souls in this realm. But some days, obviously, for all of us that are going through these transformations, activations, some days are more challenging than others. Last night and then this morning, as I drifted off for maybe a couple hours, if that, and even in that, I was going on missions and journeys in the higher dimensions. So upon awakening, Gaia was calling me strong to a portal, and there was a point in the middle of the night when... Some of these darker energies, nefarious beings, arconic energies were trying to penetrate into my heart, which is one with the, the eagle. And I saw, although the gold dragons are protecting our team and the eagle, that doesn't stop these beings from trying to annihilate it, destroy it, or, or stop this mission, this prophecy. Every day I see is prophecy now. So regardless of the individual listening to this, just keep following along. This isn't a fantasy, but it is one of the greatest stories ever told, at least in my universe. <laughs> I know everything you say, um, or I say, or they say, can seem like it's coming from ego, but I'm just speaking from my heart, and people can interpret it in any way. It's not a story I'm going to tell. Maybe Mama Bear will tell it one day. I'm sure she's a much better storyteller than 
myself and that's why i joke because it's like some people might think i'm living in a fantasy world but i'm not this creative so these are <laughs> activations <laughs> come if i was this creative i'd be a millionaire by now and i wouldn't have to ask for pledges that's Hayoka coming <laughs> grandmother grandmother medicine bear she wants to make an entrance here i just lost track of where i was going because there's so i'm lit up now here again starting to turn on fire i'm going to anchor have to anchor my face into the wet grasses of pachamama again she likes it when i do that but today as i was going to this portal as this energy was pulling in let me jump back to this other timeline <laughs> no i'm not on anything i'm just drinking some da hong pao da hong pao i reserve this most powerful tea the big red robe i call the scarlet red robe or the bright red robe one of the emperor's favorite tea i reserve this for times of extreme measures or for sacred ceremony and i've had to drink it all day long to say anchored in this what's left of the 3d realm so i don't fly off to some other dimension so in the middle of the night when my vessel was at its most vulnerable as I was jumping in between worlds and I saw this arconic energy coming in. They tried to destroy or crush my soul star, which is what I had to lower down into this physical vessel for this mission, for this life, for this timeline. And part of me was saying, go ahead, let's see what happens, because I know in that moment when I fully return to 12D, it's, it's totally over for them. And when you see your true self and your higher self, you'll understand exactly. You, many of you understand exactly what I'm talking about right now. But some that come to this channel, especially for the first time, are probably thinking this guy is losing his mind. But that's what I say, brothers and sisters. Do not worry. You cannot lose what you never had. Aho. <laughs> More da hung pao. Thank you. We would shoot this down in ceremony when it's real hot. We call it, uh, oops. So when, so when we trained with uh, Sifu and he taught us about the Da Hung Pao and when it's real hot, you take like a shot and that hot tea, it goes down and it hits what we call the bundle of hiss. We all thought he made that, that up. They're in the center of your heart is a little tiny bundle of nerves they call the bundle of hiss, like H-I-S. And if a pin were to touch it, it would be done. You're, there's no coming back. Life over. Game over. So at the time, because Sifu's from the Serpent Clan, Kung Fu of China, we thought that it was symbolism, or at least I did, that hiss, like a hissing snake, like a bundle of hiss. And, you know, you think you shoot hot water down there, it might hiss like a tea kettle. But it's actually the name of the scientist or doctor that discovered this bundle of nerves dr hiss <laughs> some might say his but that's part of our ceremony and it's like powerful healing we call gong fu tea or cha dao cha tea dao the way so the way of tea or the five elements tea which are the five elements are part of all chinese healing arts and martial arts that'll come in the future i'll be doing tea ceremonies and teaching tea on patreon here soon probably after my mission because every moment is preparing me so as i journeyed to this sacred portal today where i first united with the great bald eagle a couple of weeks ago i don't even know time it could have been a week a month 10 years ago anymore <laughs> you all know what i'm saying preaching to the choir here so as i was walking and this this energy you know, from the whole night of duking it out with these buffoons and imbeciles, I call them, the psychopaths of what's left of the the dark ways or the nefarious ones, entities. And obviously they're physical, non-physical, multidimensional. You know, the, the, these mean many things, but obviously in this case, these aren't physical beings because they know better than that by now. They've tried many times to take out this vessel, but Crazy Horse would not let that happen. So as I was walking and this energy just was taking over my heart and trying to bring me into doubt, and after a night of duking it out, I was a little frustrated. 
So I got into a little argument with great spirit, <laughs> which is not a smart thing to do. But it's in that moment, like, you all know what I'm talking about. It's like, Father, you have forsaken me. Like, what is going on? I've done everything you asked. And it almost was like you didn't have my back. But obviously, great spirit always has our back. But when we're, we're in those points of frustration and aggravation where things build up, it's like, got to take it out on something. But no, I was in this state because as this energy was trying to take over my heart center, kind of made me a little nauseous and aggravated and was that arconic energy or whatever technology they're using to keep the lower frequencies as an interference pattern over the 5D. We're navigating in between 4D, 5D, and 5 million D, that um, <laughs> infinite D. Big Daddy. So we, um, as I was yelling, many people were looking, <laughs> speaking in tongues and carrying on like a madman, which is not uh, the ordinary for myself, especially lately with these crazy intense energies. We just have to laugh about it. But as I went to this portal and I go into full lotus and I'm sitting in the woods and guy is bringing me all kinds of gifts and bees and birds and trees and you name it up flies this huge they're called like robber fly or hover fly and lands right down in front of me as I was total in stillness you know it took all my chi to get into that perfect still state we call it sit still like a mountain in body mind and spirit to transform into dragon and swallow the whole universe in that moment of total stillness as she lowered this hovering fly right in front of me. It was about an inch long with these big wings. And as a light hit, it was like a golden shimmer. And we sat, sat eye to eye. That's like the two arrows meeting in midair. The Zen masters, the meditation masters, the Buddha awareness. As we stare into each other's eyes, we sat in total stillness transmitting our highest light, our highest love, our highest codes to each other, becoming one. For about five, ten minutes, we sat together. And I knew in that moment it was Shakti, it was the condor, coming to visit me again, as she does every day, in the etheric, in the dream time, and in the physical, through Pachamama's animal kingdom, until we can fully reunite, hopefully any day now, because my heart cannot take much more of this being away from my soul star family you know it's that deep longing of reunion with our highest self closest to source and it's in this great beauty where we're getting these massive heart openings and massive soul openings it's like the heart being torn wide open and being vulnerable and exposed to the light and to the energies and to the love of the universe and that's where our great faith in the universe, in God, in ourself, in the great spirit, in the Buddha, in nature, the Tao, saying, I know this is for the good. You know, I know that the universe is not nefarious, it is love, and everything is for the good of humanity, even though we're witnessing the whole systems crumbling and falling apart and all this dark, disgusting, disturbing stuff being exposed. But most of us knew these all, all all these years. It's like people ask me, when were you red-pilled? It's like, I never need to take any pill. I came into this realm knowing it was of the lower frequency of Maya. We would call Maya, you know, the illusion. Now people say Matrix, same thing. You know, Maya, the, the waters, the divine waters that got converted to the filth and the muck and the murk of the torture, the trauma, the suffering of humanity. The children, the women, the men, everyone that suffered built up this foundation, the mud that the sacred lotus anchors its roots deep into to rise up through the still waters, reaching for the light, reaching for the heavens as it opens and blossoms and transforms into the awakened mind that is fully open, fully awake, and fully aware here now. I am here now the pure love of source creator here in this body where I always am. And that is your mantra. I am here now in this body where I always am. There is no separation. There is no greater than less than only in this 
seemingly sense of the word of the way and it's not a bad thing obviously it is a paradox the one is the many and the many is the one so we experience our individual perception and consciousness and then we have the collective experience and consciousness which is unity consciousness so we maintain both while rising up while raising our frequency and our consciousness to manifest heaven on earth living from our heart center, being connected to all things, but also experiencing the beauty of the other or the external while navigating the internal to the true source. So I've taken up enough of your time today, beloved beings of light. I appreciate you sticking around to the end of these and for leaving your comments, sharing these videos, your likes, and some of the arconic dislikes are fine. Sometimes when <laughs> I upload the video, like say it's a 50 minute video and like two minutes later I'm getting thumbs down. I'm like, thank you, Archon. It's like you can't even give me like 10 minutes chance to, you know, impress you. It's like you got <laughs> after two minutes, give me a thumbs down. Whatever. None of my business. You can't make this shift up anyway. So, so be it. I throw all caution to the wind. And live from my heart like a wild man, like a wild animal looking for its next meal. And that peach over there, or that plum, or the sacred tea, the Da Hong Pao. Bright red robe. Actually, big red robe, but I like bright or scarlet red robe. So have a beautiful and blessed awakening day. Keep living from your heart. Laugh louder. Smile wider. Because that is our power. The powerful medicine of the Heoka, the sacred clown. I love you all. Namaste.